Hey, how's it going, Don? Thanks for to taking the time out of your day to watch this video analysis. All right, in this marketing analysis, I'm going to show you exactly how much business your website's bringing you versus your top competitor. And I'm going to show you exactly how to dominate local Google searches when someone's looking for a roofing contractor in Norfolk, Virginia Beach, uh, and Chesapeake. All right, so. Um, as you can see, we're on my business page. My company's Amp Local. We're an internet marketing agency. Um, so I just want to jump right into the video. So essentially, what I'm going over is search engine optimization. Why is it important? Um, you know, people are going to be clicking from the first page of Google. Over 90% of people, when they need a um, a product or service in the area, they're going to use Google. It's the most powerful, popular way to get information. 96% of them are going to click from the very first page. All right, so if you're not on page one, you might as well be on page 20. So we're going to be optimizing your site for these Google searches. So you are on the forefront versus your top competitor, right? So um, to find your company, um, you know, I see that you are in Virginia Beach, okay? But you have locations in Chesapeake and Norfolk, okay? So I in this video, I um, highlighted we're going to be talking about those areas and where you are in those areas and show you how much business you're getting in those areas. So to find you, someone would type in roofing co contractors or roofing. So real quick, I wanna show you this. So if you're searching for your site and you wanna know your true ranking, use an incognito window. So you're gonna to go to Google Chrome. Um, these three lines here, hit incognito window. It's gonna pump the, bring this uh, window up with this little guy in the corner, right? I already have one up right here with all the uh, keyword searches we're doing for this video. So I did a Virginia Beach roofing contractors. All right, so I couldn't find you in the Google Maps. All right, so this takes up about 20 to 30% of the page. Um, and then the organics right here, this takes up about 30 to 40% of the page. So let me show you this chart. When you rank number one organic, you take about, like I said, 30, 40% of the clicks. And as you go down, it goes down to 18, 11 and all the way down to rank 10, which is 3%. And then page two starts, um, no, 11 starts page two. So as you can see, if you're not on page one, you might as, be, might as well be on page 20. So you can essentially corner 70, 80% of the market being one and one here. And then at the top, you'll have ads, which control about 20% of the clicks. Um, so that is a breakdown of the Google uh, rank, what that looks like. So for roofing, Contract uh, Virginia Beach roofing contractors couldn't find you at all in the maps or organic. Uh, I typed in Virginia Beach roofing, same thing. Okay, um, and also roofing in Ch Chesapeake, you weren't found on. I couldn't find you on any of the pages here, and then also Norfolk roofing contractors. These are just some major keywords that you want to be ranked in. I couldn't find you at all. Um, so just you get the idea you, you we can't find you on any of the most popular searches so let me show you this um, in those three areas Chesapeake Norfolk Virginia Beach uh, someone's looking for your services you know 3,000 up to 4,000 times per month a year round okay so that's a lot of potential clients um, roofing contractors alone get searched 90 times just that one keyword 90 times per month roofing 90 times per month all right Roofing companies, 30 time. Metal roofing, 140. Roofing repair, 110. So as you can see, we know exactly which are the most profitable keywords we can target here on Google. So these are the keywords we want to rank your business for. All right. So that's that's kind of like the potential market you're looking at. So let me show you how many clicks you're getting versus some of your competitors. So um, this is you right now, roofingrepairservices.com. So right now, you're at zero. You know, you're not getting any of these kind types of local keyword searches. People find your page, like I just showed you. You know, we we couldn't find you on any of the searches. So, um, let me show you this guy. This is Virginia Beach, number one guy. All right, I can bring it back. Um, so this is him right here, vbroof.com. So these guys are getting 177 hits. You know, and they had upwards 200 to over 500 at one point. So that's the potential your market market you're looking at in Virginia Beach. That's really good. Um, here is, uh, let's see, this one is in, I believe this one is in, this one is in Chesapeake. All right, so that's these guys right here. 
and they're ranked number four. One of your top competitors, and look at the market they're getting. They're getting over 100 clicks, all right? And this is Norfolk. Look how many hits they're getting, over 500 um, per month. So all in all, you know, doing the math, this is about 600. This is another 100, that's 700, um, and that's about 200. So you're looking at around anywhere between 800 and 1,000 times uh, per month clicks to your website versus where you are right now for those three. And that's just ranking in major keywords, roofing and roofing contractors and roofing companies. There's so many keywords to rank your business for, all right? We like to focus on the most profitable ones, but when you look at this, 3,000 or 4,000 times per month, somebody's needing roofing service, services, that kind of tells you how much business is actually out there, all right? So there's a lot of potential to, to bring, like I said, 1,000, we can bring up to 1,000 per month just looking at these three markets and looking at your top competitors, all right? Um, so that's that's very very important so how do we do it how do we get you ranked up there all right so Google has an algorithm all right it has 200 determined factors I'm gonna talk to you about only four of them all right once we nail these everything else um, kinda falls into place all right so I'm gonna go over the SEO of it all right and then I'm gonna talk to you about lead generation websites okay since you have different locations that I didn't mention earlier since you have different locations we're gonna want to uh, launch a lead generation campaign for you and uh, target those cities okay because that one website um, it would be it's gonna be a challenge we want to offer you the lead generation where we launch custom sites in those cities and then really corner the market in those three cities for you so let me talk to you about the SEO process and how it's done all right. So the first thing, mobile friendly. Eighty percent of people are going to use their phone to look at you or look for services in their area. So you got to be mobile friendly. So you are mobile friendly. I just want to throw that out there. Um, you know, if we do the Legion sites, all of them are mobile and Google friendly. All right. So that's that. Let me move on. The second thing. Um, so Google wants to know: Are you educating the client? They want to know if you have authoritative content built with keyword research. So if you're ranking for, if you want to rank for all these keywords, you best believe you have to be mentioning them on your home page, okay, many times, and you want to mention the cities that you serve. So if you serve Chesapeake, Virginia Beach, and Norfolk, you want to be mentioning those many, many times, you know, in Virginia um, with all the keywords, and you want to have 1,000 to 2,000 words on the page. So right now you have maybe, you know, just rough balling it, 300 to 400 words on the page right now. That's about it. All right. So 1,000 to 2,000 words is mandatory. Um, some other back-end stuff like all your photos have to be named uh, correctly. So it looks like I can tell somebody has done some, uh, some built the site with some on-page optimization stuff, but the keyword research and the authoritative content is necessary. We have to get more content if you're going to rank in, in those keywords, all right? So... I want to show you what authoritative content looks like. So I went to Google, typed in elephant. Wikipedia is notorious for popping up number one for these types of searches because of their authoritative content. So look at this page, 50,000 words on the evolution, where elephants sleep, where they eat, where they come from, everything. All right. So large chunks of information for what we're trying to do in your um, business, 1,000 to 2,000 words kind of looks like probably, I don't know, something like that, like that much content. All right. Maybe a little bit more, um, large, just large chunks of information. That's what that's what we're talking about here. All right, unique, relevant content. That's that's very important. Um, so that's on-page optimization stuff. All right. So also, your page title and page description um, uh, is also very important. So the next thing I'm going to talk to you about is off-page. So once we have your site optimized, you know, everything's named properly, you have authoritative content, keyword research built in there, you have all, you have all the keywords you want to rank for, and mentioning the cities that you serve, you know, many times, um, you know, really showing Google that you're local, you need to build out local citations, okay? So some examples are these, of these are obviously Yahoo!, uh, Google, Yahoo, Facebook being yellow pages, white pages, these are directly responsible for getting your business ranked um, in the local maps. So if you want to be number one or in the top three of the local maps where, you know, 30 to 40 percent of people are going to click from, you have to be first Google verified and you have to have these citations. So the very first thing I want to bring up about these is um, 
right here where it says you have right now you have a hundred percent error rate so uh, you, it, to me it looks like you're not Google verified because you're missing listing so I went to Google Maps myself um, I typed in best uh, best roofing of Virginia the name of your business now this one pops these two pop up right um, this is not you because that's in uh, Richmond but this could be you but it's not so I clicked it and it's um, you know not not your URL this is your uh, URL all right roof and repair services so I couldn't find you in any of the Google Maps so getting your uh, site Google verified is going to be the very first thing that we're going to we're going to want to do and once that happens we're you know we got to send a postcard to an address um, so I couldn't find an address for you on the site so if you have a an office or if you work you know if you provide at the customer's location we could set up a UPS box just to get the postcard okay the address doesn't have to show up on the internet it's just a place we have to Google verify the business to show that it's in Virginia Beach or wherever you want to have it uh, listed and then once we have that we're gonna go in and fill out all these citations okay it looks like you have a couple with the business name um, and phone number again no address um, I see you have an uh, address here but all the other ones don't have um, any addresses so that's going to be very important so if this is the address that you're located at that you want to get verified we have to send a postcard there like I said we can do a UPS box but it has to be a real street address um, and we got to get these things filled out if we're going to rank you uh, locally and, and pull some local leads people I mean obviously if they live in Virginia Beach they're gonna have a local Virginia Beach roofing contractor come put their roof on their house right so that's why this is so important this is people people are clicking these because they're local um, but the most trusted ones are the organics okay getting ranked here all right that's kind of like long term you want to be here for sure uh, so that's the citations all right very important stuff um, these are the top 50 in the country we'll get you listed in these um, but there's thousands um, that will get you listing hundreds over time the most popular ones for sure alright so that is citations now I'm gonna to talk to you about like the meat and potatoes the bread and butter whatever you want to call it of SEO okay so Google really is a popularity contest right it's like running for president the more votes you have the more chances you're gonna win a presidency so Google wants to know how many people are voting for you so these are your votes what I'm about to talk to you about these are called backlinks okay um, also influence pages um, so right now for your site it's saying you have four re referring domains that means there's four websites mentioning you on the internet right now Google wants to know how many of these do you have mentioning you and are they popular so that's your trust flow that's the quality of those links alright so right now you have four at a trust flow of zero so let me show you four puts you right at low quality okay so that's what you're working with um, let me show you your top competitor in Virginia Beach so look at these guys 164 links but look at their trust flow it's 11 okay so their trust flow is not even meeting medium quality so this tells me roofing as truly is I know roofing is low-hanging fruit for Norfolk Chesapeake and definitely Virginia Beach as I'm showing you right now um, let me tell you why our company has unlimited number of backlinks to link you to we have built and acquired some of the most powerful websites online that can mention you and give you the power and popularity that Google needs to see for you to rank in these top positions on Google this is number this is a number one factor that gets you ranked number one on in organics okay being at the top of these searches that's why these this influence page is so powerful when you have very high authoritative uh, uh, links this number doesn't seem to matter so much so if we point at 10 12 and they're all uh, 20 plus all of our links are 20 plus or 20 25 even 30 all right uh, once you have that high trust flow this number doesn't matter so let me show you I want to show you some case study stuff some of our uh, clients that we have um, so here's here's one this, uh, San Diego auto dealers all right they get hit 2500 times per month um, when we first took them they're on page three uh, they're ranked for San Diego auto dealers huge keyword search um, they're ranked number one overall in all of San Diego um, in a 3.5 million population um, for for this keyword and they're number three in the maps so they're they're doing very well so let me show you the power that we pointed on this site so I'm gonna just drag and put it straight into here 
All right. So look at this site, 73 links and the trust flow is 22. So as you can see, it's above high quality. All right. So let me show you another client. Um, we have a client that does, you know, party buses and limos downtown San Diego. Um, their site, their, these guys, we built out the lead, uh, one of the lead generation sites that I'm going to talk to you about um, in another city north of San Diego, ranked at number one, uh, organic number one in maps. Um, and let me show you the power of this site. So I'm just going to do the same thing. Go put it in here. So again, 19 links, you know, trust low 21 over the top. All right. So very, very high quality sites. Okay. So as you can see, that's the kind of, uh, let me show you even our agency site. Okay. This site is also very powerful as well. So look at that, 12 links, Trustful 31. So very high quality site. So that's the type of power you can expect that we're gonna bring um, to your business for you to get ranked um, number one in those cities. So now let me talk to you about that lead generation. So this is an example of a lead generation site that we did. We launched these sites custom built and we will launch them in the cities that you are ranking for, you or you wanna rank for. All right, and pull all the leads back to your business. So the potential market, like your competitors are getting, you know, 800 to 1,000 uh, visitors per month and you're at zero, right? So you're at zero. So that's, the, that's where we want to get you, right? So that's a lot of potential business. Um, so we can launch this lead generation campaign. We've done it many times and ranked it very specific for the area that we're targeting. And eventually, uh, six months to a year, it's going to produce a lot and lot of leads for your business and really grow your company. We can definitely do, if your business is registered, um, you know, if the business is located in Virginia Beach, um, we'll be able to rank it um, in that area as long as we get Google verify it and get the address. It'll be, it'll be pretty quick, you know, three to six months for sure. Uh, it'll be ranked up within that area and you'll be pulling a nice set, set of leads but to expand if you want to expand across that area in Virginia we can launch the lead generation campaign and really dominate the searches there so if that's something you're interested please let me know that concludes my analysis I um, appreciate the time you took to watch this video um, I really hope it made sense for you and your business we would love to partner with you um, and really bring some serious business uh, to your company um, so again you have my name email, phone number, please reach back out and we'll take the next steps to bringing you more leads online. Thanks and have a great day.